Welcome to my science and technology presentation, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mart from Electrical and Electronics Engineering Department. What if I told you that you can earn $18,000 just by laying on a bed? But with a little restriction, you have to lay 70 days straight and let NASA observe your body. What NASA wants to observe in this experiment is our topic today, which is two effects of space travel on human body. I've divided my topic into two parts. Firstly, I will talk about failure of muscular system and secondly, cancer due to space radiation. This is our general outline that I will follow today. Let me introduce you failure of muscular system. Throughout the history, human body evolved so that it can survive under conditions of Earth. Therefore, if we change one of these conditions, we expect to observe some critical impacts on human body. One of these conditions is gravity. On Earth, we are under force of gravitation, so even while standing straight, we are actually exercising, since we use our muscles. However, if you are in a space trip, floating like these astronauts in the picture, you are not using your muscles as much as you do on Earth. This lack of exercise can damage muscular system and your body. James Curtis, who is the head of United Kingdom Space Agency, in an article published by BBC in 2016, pointed out that, after 5 months in space, an astronaut will typically lose as much as 40% of muscle mass, which shows that space travel can indeed lead to failure of muscular system. To clarify, let me give you an example. If you are 20 years old when you go to space and stay there for 3 months, when you come back, your muscles are affected like you have reached your 60s. If the first point is clear, let me move on to my second major, which is space radiation and cancer. Cancer cells, in a brief definition, are cells that which lost control over their own duplication. And there are lots of reasons of cancer. One of the important ones is radiation exposure. However, there is something different between Earth and space, which affects this amount of radiation. On Earth, the magnetic field of Earth and the atmosphere protects human body by absorbing radiation coming from space, as known as space radiation. This picture can help you to visualize it. However, in space trips, only thing between astronauts' flesh and deep space is a thin layer of aluminum. These phenomena are explained in an article written by NASA's human research team in 2015, and in addition to these, they further claimed that an astronaut absorbs 10 times more radiation compared to Earth, which is a significant amount. Thus, space travels, especially if they take a long time, increases the risks for travelers to get cancer. That's all I want to say about cancer due to space radiation. To conclude, let me summarize what we have talked today. We have talked about effects of traveling in outer space on human body. We started with damages on muscular system and then the increasing amount of radiation and cancer as a result of it. In future, one day, we might need to explore space, we might need to travel in space. And it can even be a survival of a whole species situation. When that day comes, to realize this dream, we need to consider at least these two important things. Thanks for listening to me. Here's my references for those who are interested in. If you have any questions, I would gladly answer them.